Hi friends, it's Kim with Sweet Daisy Creations. Welcome back everybody to my channel. Well today, as you can see, I've done a little decorating for Halloween. I normally don't do much of this um, now that my kids are grown, but um, this year I thought, why not? I don't have a lot of Halloween. This is probably about as much as I have for outdoors at the moment. I hope to maybe change that in the future because it is fun to decorate for Halloween. And um, I just wanted to show you what I've got going on here. Um, I guess let's start over here on the left um, near the door. Um, we have had this Grim Reaper thing for quite a while. It has a light flickering in here, as you can see and its eyes light up and it used to talk and make all kinds of like, it sounded really like scary, <laughs> but um, it doesn't anymore. It doesn't make any noise anymore, but I've got that sitting there and it just is gonna have the light and the eyes. It won't do anything else. And then up here is my Halloween wreath that I've had for years. I made this a long time ago. It's the only Halloween wreath I have left. I originally had a black and orange one that I made and this purple and green. And I'm trying to remember if I had another one. I don't think so, but anyways, it's cute. Um, it has a lot of sparkle and dazzle to it. Let, you know, not a lot of people um, make these deco mesh wreaths anymore. A lot of it's, um, you know, grapevines, um, but this has a, a fun ribbon on it. It's got, you know, spider web. It's got this um, ribbon that's kind of netting, you know, you can see through it, but it's got all the glitter dots on it and yeah it's just super super cute and then coming down here I think I've mentioned this before for those of you that know me I love vintage Halloween stuff so what I did do decorate in the house which um, I have I'm done doing that this year um, but look how cute that is with the cat um, hanging on the moon and all the stars and the happy old Halloween with a little spider hanging down. Isn't that cute? It's just adorable. Um, then over here on the bench, well, first there's a Halloween sign. It just says Happy Halloween. It has ghosts on it, and it's super cute with the spider webs and such. I got that from Walmart. Um, actually, on this side, I have another one. This one says, Show Me Your Spooky Side, which I thought was kind of cute. Um, so anyway, so there's there and then of course that and that and then up here Let's see if I can zoom in more um, I put that Pitberry Garland up there. I think I got that from Hmm, I'm thinking I must have picked that up at maybe at Walmart I think they had that at Walmart one year and then I've got that little garland that's hanging down that has the little Halloween uh, jack-o'-lanterns on it. Isn't that cute? And then I made this this with a, it's just a witch's hat that I kind of, uh, you know, put a little bow at the top and then I did some deco mesh down here at the bottom and some ribbons and it looks super, super cute. And then down here, I just used this um, black and white plaid or you know, checked blanket. Um, these are from Amazon. And then of course I turned my pillow around. It's just that one that has the pumpkin, you know, farm fresh pumpkins or something like that on the back of it. And then down here, I've got a couple of cute pumpkins. This one's from Walmart. Um, it's checked, has the cute leaves on it. And then this one I picked up at a, like, a, you know, a fair or, you know, craft festival. Um, somebody made it and has the cute pattern on it. And then one of these I had to take off because it wouldn't fit my window. So I have those there. And then I just have this still sitting here. And then down here in front, kind of like a rug, I have this. I'm just here for the treats, which also has that vintage -y vibe to it. Um, I got that for $5 at Dollar Tree. And I just thought it was super, super cute. So um, this is how the area turned out for Halloween. And today I just went to Walmart and picked up my Halloween candy. We're hoping to have some trick-or-treaters. And yeah, 
this has turned out very cute. Very, very cute. I'm very happy with it. Um, now, I don't know if the trick-or-treaters will come to this area of my house because my husband and my son, you know, their trucks have to be in the driveway. So it kind of makes a mess. On another note, let me show you our lemons. Look how big they've gotten. Like this one's like huge. Look at them. They're about ready to be pulled off. They're just getting yellow. These, this one's pretty yellow. So we're probably going to be pulling these off soon. Um, but look how big they are. There's, some of them are really big. Um, this one's a good size. This one's bigger back there. Some of them got, these are bigger than we've ever had. Look how big this one is. It's huge. But, you know, there's two back there too and one there. I mean, there's probably about 11 or so on here. Yeah, it's done very well this year. Considering the heat of the summer, I was surprised. Yeah, finally my plants are starting to get back into gear again. Because um, before, um, they were like, you know, not looking good. But... Isn't that all looking cute? I love it. I love it. It looks so cute. I just changed up a little few things and here it is Halloween now. So I don't know, maybe next year I'll do more Halloween and make it super cute. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, it's a short one. I may add something else at the end. Um, so stay tuned and I will talk to you in a little bit.